So when breeding dogs, does the volume actually matter? Does how much you actually collect from the stud dog actually matter? Sometimes I see people with syringes full of collection, full of semen when they're pulling their dogs for breedings, right? Whether they're doing AIs, shipping out semen, whatever the case may be. And then some people, I only see this much. We're going to answer the age old question. Stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this episode of Breeders Hacks. We're comparing two studs, one with almost eight cc's of semen and one with practically only two cc's of semen. Which one is better? Stay tuned. What's going on, Bully Fam? What's going on, Bully Fam? It's your boy, the educator, the scientist, Mr. Double Muscle Line Bulls, bringing you another episode of Breeders Hacks. I think it's time I finally do an episode on this, right? So people I see on the internet that are breeding dogs, they'll sit there and hold the cup or bag and collect their stud dog and sit there for 10, 20, 30 minutes and try to collect as much fluid as possible. We have two studs that we're comparing today, right? We have one stud that we collected as much as possible off the dog and he gave us about seven and a half cc's to what it looks like, about seven and a half cc's. And then we have another stud dog where we did not collect any of the clear, just the cloudy, right? So there's three fractions when it comes to sperm on stud dogs. In the beginning, the stud dog will give like a pre-ejaculate, it's a few drops of clear. Then it's cloudy, which is the actual sperm. And then it goes back to clear, which is the prostatic fluid. We only need the second fraction because that's where the sperm is actually at. But some people collect the whole thing and then some people collect just the cloudy. This is two completely different collections. One is the father and one is the son. And now we're putting them head to head to see who has better semen. The one with only two cc's or the one with seven and a half cc's, seven and a half mls. I have a little chart here and we're gonna compare today, right? Stud one versus stud two. And um, I think the results that we find today are gonna be pretty interesting as far as does volume matter? You know, how much you actually collect from the dog? Well, we're gonna find out. I think I know the answer, but I'm not gonna tell you guys to the end. So, or we'll just see what the results say. So anyway, we have our microscope, right? And we have our photometer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be comparing what it visually looks like, and then we're gonna be comparing the actual sperm counts, right? So we'll start with our seven and a half cc, the father, our stud, the, the first stud, right? So we're gonna just take a drop, and we're literally going to put that right on the microscope slide, right? Just like this. We literally only needed a drop, right? So we put a drop right there. And now let's move this over. Actually, I put a little too much. Let me take out and move this over. And there we go. So as you can see, we have some swimmers, you know, not not a whole lot of action going on, but we you know we got we got some decent swimmers. You know we see we see sperm on the on the on the screen, right? So we can we can write we can notate whatever. We, yeah, we see we see sperm. Cool, right? They're moving things like that. Yeah. So this is the first dog, right? Now we'll check the sperm on the second dog, right? So this is the second dog now. So this is the first dog. Let's look at the second dog. So same thing. We're going to just put a drop, literally a drop. Perfect. Literally an eyedropper amount. I think I actually put a little less for this one. And underneath the microscope, if we look, wow, insane. It's night and day difference. I mean, look at that. Let's see. I want to try to get it better. I mean, look at that. You can't even count how many sperm cells are there. Night and day difference. So that's pretty interesting because we had seven and a half here and we saw just a few on the screen. We had two CCs here and it's just the, the whole screen is lit up with sperm cells. So that's interesting. So what is that telling us? This may be more condensed than this. What I'm going to write for stud one is we saw visible sperm and stud two, we're going to say that we just, we saw more. So the next test that I wanted to do real quick is get the actual sperm count. Which one actually has more sperm inside of it, right? So we're going to go ahead and close this. 
and he's 28 per ml. So 28 basically means that he's 28 million sperm cells per cc. 28 million. And we check. 235. Right? 235 per ml. Right? So, I just finished doing the math, right? So here is how we calculate our results. We take the number that's here, right? So we got 28 for the first dog and we got 235 for the other dog, for the second dog. So you take, that's per ml or per cc. So for example, if this first dog, we got 28, right? And I want you guys to see this. So for the first dog, we got 28 per ml. So if we got 28, we multiply that by seven and a half cc's because that's how much we had gotten here, seven and a half, right? So I used a little bit to put on a microscope and to do our test. So, um, but originally started with seven and a half. So we do 28 per one, two, three, four, per, per ml. We do 28 times how many mls we had. This gives us our total. Our total is 210 million. That's how many sperm cells are actually in this collection. That's how many sperm that can actually get this dog, get a dog pregnant. 210 million. And I should have wrote here million because that's how many we have. So it looks like a lot. Now let's check our second stud, right? So now we have stud number two. He only gave us two cc's, right? So out of the two cc's, two mls, there was 235 million sperm cells for every ml. So if we do 235, multiply that by two, we got 470 million. So what does this all mean? Well, basically what this means, the quality is better than the quantity, right? So people may think that if I collect seven and a half cc's or if I fill the syringe, this would be better than this. Well, the science just told us that's not true. It's the quality. This is a much older dog. We didn't even really look at how the shape were or how they were swimming or anything like that because this sperm from this dog was actually a lot weaker. If we go back and look at the first dog, I guarantee his sperm cells are already starting to die. That's how weak the sperm is. Would you look at that? Over the course of shooting this video, his sperm's already dying. It's already dying because he's an older dog. If we go all the way to the other side and we look at the younger dog, let's see what his looks like. Still swimming around like crazy, as you can see. So the quality, as we can say, is a lot better. The older dog's sperm is already dying. The younger dog's sperm is still alive and vibrant and ready to go and get a female pregnant. So does the volume actually matter? Nah, I'm gonna say no, I'm gonna say no. Because the quality of this sperm, it's already dying. This sperm, in my opinion, is twice as strong as this sperm. This is the older dog. Even though we have seven and a half cc's, the quality of the two cc's is much better. And if we were to count every single sperm cell inside of here and every single sperm cell inside of here, this actually has more than double that this has. So this has, like we said, 210 million. This one has 470 million. So this one is literally more than double the amount of sperm that's inside this one. So as we said, guys, the quality matters more than the quantity. Because as you can see, the volume, right? This is only two cc's. This is almost three times the amount. This is almost eight cc's. And somehow this has double the amount of sperm in it. And the sperm are more stronger, more healthy, and more likely to get a female pregnant. So guys, I genuinely think the quality is more important than the quantity of volume that you pull. So that's why for me, when I pull stud dogs, I just pull the cloudy. I don't pull all the extra stuff because it's not going to change anything. The amount of sperm that's in there is the amount of sperm that's in there. So when you pull the dog, just remember that there's three fractions. Just pull the collection, just pull the fraction that has the cloudy stuff. As you can see, this one's more cloudy. 
So more cloudy usually means that there's more sperm inside of it. The more clear it starts to get, that usually means that there's less sperm inside of it. So I just wanted to share this with you guys so you guys can make the decision for yourself. I see some people that'll stand there and pull a dog for a half hour and they'll get 20 cc's. And then I see somebody who sits there and pulls their dog for just a couple minutes and they get way more sperm than the person who sat there and was collecting their dog all day, standing there holding and collecting the semen. So the science doesn't lie, guys. You guys seen the test yourself, literally more than double. So one of the things that really does help with the sperm that makes it, you know, go crazy um, and helps the dog produce a lot of sperm and you could get sperm counts like this is right now we have the young dog on Reaper Stud. It's very helpful, something I would suggest you guys check out. Um, Reaper Stud's been very helpful in getting our studs to have the sperm counts that they need. And yeah, guys, I mean, I think this really kind of puts to rest the age old question of does volume matter, which is better? You know, you want cloudy collections. And once it starts going clear, when your collector is stud dog, I stop collecting. So anyway, guys, I hope your list is helpful. I hope it's useful. Make sure to drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Was this helpful? Was it useful? What's your experience when it comes to collecting stud dogs? Did this change your perspective of how you see things now? I don't know. Let me know. All right, guys. I'll see you guys on the next episode of British Hacks. All right, guys.